What is up guys, Indie Gamer Rachel here, and welcome back to Mango Mischief for the PC, the last episode after acquiring the uh, strong slipcase to let me bind magic. So I went to a couple of spots where they had the little sparkly deal, and using the slipcase I'm able to dispel that and pass through either barriers or pick up chests that were blocked off or what have you. And then from there I headed west from the Prominence Pass to a spot where I was able to pick up the oh, Arcane Spellbook, an ancient book of spells and writing, though it's, it is written in an unfamiliar language. And then from there headed back west through the North Cave out the other exit and just kept going that way to that, that outpost or whatever through that to some kind of like a sailors something or another what is this place technically called sailor citadel first floor and won myself a ship having to fight up a tower now i have the official seals of the cc seals because why fucking not at this point permit you to use a ship on the open seas now i have six of ten items Hey, it's our new ship. It's it sailing. Hold on. What you waiting for? That man from the Meta Reference Match told us to visit this house in Old Providence Town, remember? Oh, yeah. Maybe we can learn about the remaining four hours the king wants. So it wouldn't hurt to ask. Gotta stop by the house. We could just sail around and explore everything on our own. Let's head back to Meta Reference Mansion and try to find out more information about the four remaining treasures. Okie dokie. Yet outpost. I see something. I do want to check something over here first. Okay, I'm not crazy. There was a fucking fairy over here. Hello there. I'm an arcane fairy. Would you like me to translate an arcane spell for you? Definitely. Okay, let's see. May come as a surprise or a light thrill, but accessories have been left on a white hill. Find the square of islands, go north of 12 o'clock, hit the wall, and out will fall shields for your flock. Uh-huh. Maybe. Oh, find the fact we're going to go north of 12 o'clock, hit the wall, and that will fall. So from here, go 12 o'clock, go north. Okay. Scuttle 2 and Targe 2, that's garbage. Well, okay then. Let's just start and do these mango quests. Alright, Rabbit, you should check back at a different tree. What? Huh. Okay. Essentially, everyone in town wanted one. Stop. I gotta stop here anyway. A boat. Okay, transportation. Okay. Oh, you wanna pick three at a time later? Trees won't wrap it until all three mangoes in the inventory have been handed out. Okay. That was a ship. We sure do. I'm gonna go exploring. Could be exploring right now. Sir, we already have six out of the ten items that the king has been looking for. Do you happen to know anything about the remaining four items? Well, jobs you already have. We have a hex hammer, bottle of Everflame, title title, strong slipcase, arcane spell book, and an official seal to the sea sea seals. Ah, so it sounds like you're just missing the four medallions that the king desires. Four medallions? Yes, yeah, so the Strength Medallion, the Skill Medallion, the Soul Medallion, and the Sage Medallion. Strength, Skill, Soul, and Sage. Owning all four of these medallions would bring great honor to Hargoth. What's so honorable about the King having these four medallions if he didn't earn them? Maybe this is a thinly veiled plot device that is the King surprisingly summoning an incredibly strong monster? Wait, what? Queen Mackenzie and King Guffin would never do that. You realize their names are... And this is all just the, 
Never mind. So we gotta get these medallions. Give everything to the king and then we'll get our wish? That's the plan. Sir, do you have any additional information on these medallions? Each medallion is actually a union of two halves. We need to collect and combine both pieces for each medallion. Why is each medallion broken into two pieces? It's a great way to arbitrarily make the game long. I mean, there are two champions of each feat, and neither could defeat the other. The hours and hours of stalemates, each pair of champions agreed to split their trophies into halves. Yeah, that sounds much better. Track down all eight halves of the four medallions. Eight halves of four medallions? Okay, yeah, that math checks out. Four medallions, eight halves total. Where are all these medallion halves? You're just full of questions, aren't you? I don't know their locations. But what if we can't find them without your help? Then maybe instead you try your luck with a completely linear quest that holds your hand and pat your head for following step-by-step -step directions? Boy, that escalated quickly. You have a ship now. Ships don't come with training wheels. Sure, but they have life preservers. Okay, I think we're done here. Don't need any more assistance. Let's collect all eight pieces, return to the mansion. Thank you for your guidance. Let us head back to our new ship and start looking for the medallions. Okay. She needed one. Gleam dagger, that's shit. Okay, so four, five, six. Okay, I think it was this person in the castle kitchen. Gloom sword, bah! Okay, should be one of these people over here in Pitha. That was one of these people. Yeah. Okay. One of these people in Snowburbia. I think. Yes. Oh, and while I'm here, I can just take care of this slipcase that I keep freaking forgetting. Can read the description now. Yes, the writing's become clearer. Hope it says something useful. Let's see. Just a bunch of letters and numbers. Uh. Not sure what it means, but we we'll figure out eventually. One more time. Ah, fuck. Uh, the, huh, there's 16. Six, the 16 mango locations, possibly? Huh. Guess I'll have to decipher it later. Okay, number 7, 8, and 9. I think they had one in here. Fucking mat. Huh, this is open now. Ooh, agility maxi amulet. Ooh. You can get that. What was the difference? Okay, so it's like a 20. Hi, Edel. What time do we see? Why, if it isn't Lady Marrow. It's her sprig, too. Hello, Sir Edel. Do remember meeting your other two friends back at Hargoth. Yeah, you called me a little girl. Way stronger now, though. Remember meeting you, too. It's good to see you all again. Would you mind doing me a favor? You want a mango? It's just been so long since I've had one. We totally have an extra mango for you. Here you go. Oh, okay. Major price? About what? I'm sealing East to look for the king and the eight medallion pieces that he may want. I can help with that and more. Here is some general lore about medallions, mantras, and mangoes. Rumor has it that the four of the eight halves of Medallion were scattered across the continent of Lairis. Other four pieces are spread throughout the corners of the open seas. Lairis? 
It is a giant landmass due east of here. Correct. You choose to gather the eight pieces in any order that you want, but beware. Any monster in the early areas will be weaker and less experienced, while the areas you explore later will have stronger enemies. In fact, after every two pieces gathered, the enemies of all eight regions will collectively grow stronger. You see them level up from 1.0 to 2.0 once two medallion halves are gathered. And then 2.0 to 3.0, obviously you have the four medallion. 3.0... Okay, 4.0. Stronger animals also means greater rewards for defeating them. So that there's a gate in Glacial Grove that may help if you're eager to seek those. Who okay, so that is what that's for. Kind of figured as much. I just gotta decipher that shit now. Oh, that's just. Okay, give me my freaking boto. Just due east? Okay, yeah, it is just due east. Like, literally. Yeah, also, uh, I max out everyone's level for their classes. And, um, yes, I was correct. They do have an Omega version of those classes. Like, holy fucking shit. You think we got enough fucking classes in here? I mean, I can't really talk. Tactics had, like, I think, like, close to 30 or some crap. So... As in Final Fantasy Tactics. So, yeah. Who are you? Why are you here? Welcome to the continent of Lyris. Hiya. I feel like we've been sailing and exploring forever. Sir, what time is it? It's high noon. Better get going. We'll have to make sure that we travel around the entire world. Well, you can certainly try. you have any advice for us? I'm sure that each of you will play a critical role in your team's adventure. What you decide to do and where you decide to go is completely up to you. Just ask yourself one question. How do you want to do this? Uh huh. What do you do? Ooh, what's this? I want nothing to do with this. Oh! West Haversine? But our town can't even afford a sign. Work hard and don't whine, but we're snubbed by design, as our mayor acts like everything's fine. The rapport with our poor is completely abhorred, as it comes off as a chore, and we're mostly ignored. Oh, jeez. Welcome to the Haversteen Inn. I would love to make this a free rest here, but unfortunately we were quite poor. I'll have to charge you 400 gold to stay until something changed in our town. We're in a devastating predicament. Sorry for the inconvenience. That's fine. Got like 80,000 or some shit. Shop owner now will continue to try to bring the business to West Haversine so that we can help rebuild our town and help our community. In fact, the shop owner is an honest man. If you were to ever consider investing in our town, he would be a perfect partner. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. This poor town. Twenty-five thousand experience obtained. What? What? Yeah, so I need like two hundred thousand for these classes. Why did I just randomly get twenty-five k XP? It's weird. Excuse us, but is the shop open? Technically yes, but as you can see, my shop and the rest of this town are in pretty bad shape. Don't even have any items for sale. Why is West Haversteen so impoverished? Does it Haversteen have a mayor to make sure the townsfolk are okay? The mayor resides in East Haversteen where he hoards wealth and only cares about the people and businesses over there. He and the other Haversinians avoid West Haversine at all costs. Why would they do that? I'm not sure, really. I only arrived here a few weeks ago, but the older West Haversinians tell me that it's been this way forever. My name is Dizzy, and I left my hometown because the people there were violent and hateful. Yet in this new town, my neighbors and I are also despised. Thankfully, my neighbors don't treat me as an outsider or as a stranger, even though I am one. A few of us have tried appealing to our mayor, but he doesn't seem to be interested in rebuilding our half of Haversteen. What a dick. Apparently he doesn't think we're worth the money or effort. That's terrible. I mean, that's so rude, so stubborn. We're gonna have to do something. Like what, Merrill? I don't know. Busy. You said the mayor is obsessed with wealth, right? That's correct. What if we convinced him that investing money into West Haversteen could benefit the town as a whole and make him money in the long run? Additionally, perhaps helping this half would persuade West 
are proceeding is to vote for him during the next election so that he can retain his powerful position. Hmm. It's not like things the mayor would be interested in. I think it's worth a shot. There's no harm in asking. Let's try it. He's going to want to know exactly how much he's being asked to spend on us, so you should be prepared with data. I already spoken with my neighbors, and we've calculated that 4,000 gold should be enough for our first investment to start repairing West Haversian. We'll eventually need more money, but hopefully a 4,000 gold investment will start to show enough of an improvement that he becomes open for further discussions. Let's get negotiating. So... Can I give him money? Okay, I guess I gotta go talk to that mayor person first. Friends and I would love to go shopping, but we're aware of the prices. Even though my dress is hanging half off, I simply need to keep it. God, this poor town. Poor Ness. Would you mind telling us what you think about East Haversheen? Hmm. Never been there. I'm sorry. Holy shit, I actually feel bad. You motherfuckers! And cars? Wait, why do you have cars? How do you have cars? What? Why am I getting experience? What is going on? Heard that East Haversheen Library has some of the most prophetic books ever. Also heard that most people you speak with are surprisingly omniscient. It was really, really, really helpful. Southeast so of here is a couple who lives in a giant mansion with both fierce monsters and cute animals. I think you can walk there from here by taking the southern bridges in case you wish to speak with them. Walk east of Haversheen, you'll find a forest filled with slimes. Maybe familiar with those enemies if you ever played any JRPG. Ha! <laughs> derp, ba derp, ba derp. Hey there, I'm on a short break from work. What do you do for work? I'm a doctor. You're a medical doctor? Yeah. You mean for humans? Yes, silly. Why? What do you mean? The world needs doctors. Does it really, though? Anytime we become sick during a battle, all our ailments conveniently disappear as soon as we knock out all the enemies. Even if the effects didn't vanish, special status is apparently heal us too. Special status, I'm sorry. There are also items that can cure everything. Literally everything. <laughs> yeah, going to sleep at an inn resort is in tip-top shape too. Maybe I should switch careers then, to a profession that is actually useful. I think I'll train to become a sea captain or a of a boat or a ship, since just not anyone can steal watercraft. Yeah, that sounds really tough. God, what the hell is going on in this game? The southwest region of Leyritz features both a bug infested forest and a nearby farming community. They're quite close to each other, and I imagine it could pose a problem for the farmers trying to grow crops. Sail south, you'll reach an island ahead of its time until the time catches up to it. What? It'll be behind for its time. To always be right on time. Yeah, it's a pretty weird island, but I hear there's some treasure there. What? Okay, this is a not an actual shop. Friends and I love to go shopping, but we're very aware of the prices. Find a dress on a hanger for half off. I simply have to have it. It's East Haversine, a lovely place that's simply divine. Sunshine, the fine wine, and dine all align and combine to underline the reality that everything is fine. Therefore, so we adore our mayor for opening each door for us to explore and enjoy even more from our playground to our popular stores. Uh huh. What? Am I supposed to be getting experience just from walking in buildings? I don't get what's happening. Very interested in stone gates and pillars, especially those that have an inscription written on them. Here that there's one in Glacial Grove, all the way out near Snowburbia, but I've never had an opportunity to check it out myself. It's supposed to have some sort of special coded language inscribed on it. Uh-huh. Still southwest of Layers, you'll reach some islands and ferries, and eventually an underground cave. Only the hardiest adventurers have survived the intense heat of that fire cavern. It's said that in the center of that crater is a fearsome monster who sucks the souls out of hapless humans. It would have really sucked. <laughs> you need to travel there, huh? So, of course, I'm gonna have to. See that fortress surrounded by a moat of lava southeast of Lairis? 
think it's called Chaos Castle. It certainly sounds like the name of an endgame location. Uh-huh. Yo, what's up with that random tower surrounded right entirely by rocks northwest of Snowburbia? How the heck do you even travel there? Mm hmm. Je ne sais pas. If you're looking for the library, it's a small building just past the playground. Yes, you should be looking for it. No matter how old you are, you can always learn from more reading. This one? No. Okay, yeah, I'm just getting random fucking XP, but you know what? If they want to give it to me, that's fine. I need to clear my head. I come here. Okay. I'm mentally preparing myself for a journey to the northeast. There are rumors of a mysterious oasis past the whirlpools, but I don't know if there are any sea creatures out there. Only one way to find out. I... I'm not gonna mess with that. It's like a temple or a shrine or something. Fuck! Have you seen his ultimate city with homes of the future and landscapes so pretty? This town tops the bucket list before you're deceased. Just look for no further than his gem of the east. What a lovely day it is. Just like every other day. It's always good to smile and be positive. Internet has been slow in my house for almost a year. Uh, I'm sorry, almost an hour now. Got fed up with it, so I came outside. Maybe yeah, I head over to the library soon to do some research. Always so much I can learn, and I'll take a quick glance at any open books or loose papers that I can actually get my hands on. Uncle thinks that I have the makings of varsity athletes. That's nice. I feel so easy right now. Maybe when I'm as old as the four of you, I have more things to worry about. Hmm. To fire, justice is served. Okay. Not looking forward to dinner tonight. Really don't like steak or lobster or caviar or truffles or oysters. Well, poor fucking you, you little shit. My nannies have the day off today, so it's just me here with my friends. I'm a William. I'm a gonna win. Okay. Hiya, oh yeah, what's your name? Oh, um, hello, my name is Rosie. People call me Rosie too, but I'm Marrow. Um, okay, hi. What's doing, Rosie? Visiting from Hargoth. Love to read books, and this library has a great collection. What are you reading now? Book about how status ailments and debuffs work. Any helpful information about them? Um, well, this page here is talking about how sometimes monsters are resistant to status ailments and debuffs. But not completely immune. So sometimes trying the same debuff or status ailment or two or three times might be necessary for success? Yes, I think so. Though monsters can also be immune. Really appreciate the information. Especially since for some reason we only seem capable of reading books that are already out and open for us. Thanks for your help, Rosie. It's okay, goodbye. Hey, it's our I mean, whatever this guy's name is. Just a few more books and I'll be all set. Where's the one about potions? Did I already borrow a book about the three different ribbons? Well, dear, I keep losing track of things. Excuse me, sir. Is everything okay? Hmm? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. I'm just talking to myself. We noticed. Hi, I'm Marrow. What are you doing at the library? My name is Archelion Landers, and I'm an alchemist. My colleague and I do research and experiment with various elements. Who's your colleague? Oh, his name is Wem. He's a mage out west. I just keep to himself, so he's often mess with uninvited guests. Anyways, those weapons and necklaces aren't going to imbue themselves, so I better get back to work. It's lovely to meet you all. Scene Library. Feel free to peruse any book you want. I'm sure that each of you will find a book that you'll enjoy if you look hard enough. That's a chair. Why am I talking to the chair? But you know, it's a story about my skills in classes. Gotta take a look at this so I can be in tip-top shape fighting baddies. I wonder if this could help me be a better teacher, too. Complete a tutorial for your journal. Okay, I guess. Now I know how to master my magic. Sure.
Okay. Book about all my classes? Skip ahead to the magic classes. I'm sure I can learn a few new things. Give me a tutorial for your journal. Be even stronger than ever now that I fully understand my class skills. Excuse me, but uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just trying to figure out which books I should read next. Oh, wow, I love reading. You read the book entitled Becoming Weightless by the author Anti Gravity. Yeah, but I just could put it down. Oh, God damn it. Glad that you appreciate a good pun. Absolutely love them. I am immediately regretting this. Do you recommend any books for me to read? Right now, I'm loving the book entitled How to Break Out of Prison by the author Jimmy Locks. God, fucking. All the craziness of the world. I bet that story really helps you escape. I'm about to walk out of this game. I like you. My name is Meryl. Nice to meet you. My name is Mr. Martin. Now, I don't mean to be a ham, but it's very nice to meet you too. I'm getting angry. <laughs> Maybe you're not full of bologna. Mara, I think it's about time. Sprig, if you're just estimating the time, how about you read the book entitled How to Approximate Things by the author, more or less. To say, I found that book to be about average at best. <clears throat> Can we set a timer on an alarm for something to end this dialogue? If you're into that kind of thing, to actually says the book entitled Training Dogs and People by the author, like, Isabel Ringing. Just hearing her name gives me stuff. Fuck. It's certainly a real treat. Times like this, I wonder how early we could have released this game before in all the jokes. Get the stuff getting sidetracked. That's the title of the book by the author, Candace Wait. <clears throat> I wish. Okay, then take care of yourselves. You too, Mr. Martin. You should at least receive a reward for surviving this conversation. Love potion obtained. Okay, I see what you did there. That physically hurt my soul. Please stay quiet. I'm trying to focus on reading my book. Treating. Reading about Talent Tower, located in the northern part of the Laris. It's 12 floors, all full of fighters. Top floor of the tower is the keeper of half of the skill medallion. Ooh. Call that tower then. In your dream, sure. It's not skeptical, skeptical of our abilities. You shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah, please leave it to my book now. You all should read some books on your own while you're here. Please read them silently. I have here Light Apprentice, Enabler, Light Adept. Wait a second. Tour of all my classes. Don't get me wrong, those are some good puns, but just ow, my soul. Because it goes great to read. You're reading about the master tier stages called Alpha and Omega, and the greatest items earned from leveling up in each master tier class. I think some of the books on those tables have additional information if you're interested in learning more. Wait, so I got some items from that? Holy shit, yes, I did. Uh, okay, so I have a lot to do for that. I'm going to just divide it up equally. So I'm not, you know, putting them all on, like, one character or some shit. Planning a sailing trip to the northwest to Blizzard Blooms. Trying to find a book that details how best to prepare for the eyes of creatures and treacherous weather conditions. I wonder who lives in the igloo out there. Sorry, book of my master classes. Absolutely must read this. Completed tour of your journal. The book provides a vital tutorial for my classes. Okay, get the fuck out of here. Holy crap, I couldn't run. No, if you want to give me 20. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Friends and I are all master tier, and we trade our stat boosting items with one another. Using the stat boosting items that we gain every time we level up. It's a great way to help each other out. Welcome to the East Afrasian Armory. Weapons, please. Let's see what we have. <gasps> Mythic Masmune. Ooh, my. Mythic Skagix. Mythic Glaive. Mythic Keelanbane. I guess how you pronounce that. Bamber says just because. Mythic Baladal. Mythic Mace. Mythic Ballista. Mythic Mortar. Take Okagi, Power Scepter, 
get two of those. Hydro, Geo, Petal, Cryo, Bronto, Lumi, Umbra. Okay. Armor, please. Okay, I, got, I just picked up two of those. Okay. Okay. Oh, he already has that. Never mind. Mystic Ballista. Wonder why cheaper lower level gear is sold out west in Hargolf, but more expensive higher level gear is sold here in Haversine. Seems awfully convenient for any novice adventurer starting the journey in the west and heading eastward as it grows stronger. Oh, I already talked to you. Mythic weapons are some of the best around, but only the truly advanced can wield them. Shop has a nice variety of items, but I've heard rumors that are even more powerful, rarer ones in the wild. Okay. Which shop had maxitonics, but I guess metatonics are okay for now. I travel all around the world, and everywhere I go, every town I visit, there always seems to be exactly one shop. I wonder why so few competitors exist within a town. It'd be really cool if a town had two or three shops competing for the same customers. Fortunately, I guess towns aren't just designed that way. I think I maxed out everything at that Sailor's Citadel or whatever the shit that is. Now, welcome to the East Haverzine and Chloe Kane, a wonderful East Haverzine. Help you today. Hi there. We're adventurers from Hargoth. We're looking for some information on... Is that a, a casino? Yep, that's a casino, all right. Been to good money, but it's being renovated right now. Never been to one before. Now is not the time to start marrying. Aw, what request requires us to gamble at the casino? I think that's quite unlikely. Sorry, Marion. There's no chance of that happening. That would be funny, though. So imagine skill-based adventure with an interesting storyline that gets randomly interrupted and sabotaged by completely lug-based activity. Anyways. I was saying, on adventure, we could use some information on... Excuse me, what are these two rooms? Mero, can you stop getting distracted? Those are the bathrooms. You use the bathroom if you want, even if you're not staying over here overnight. You mean to say that those rooms are open? Bathroom doors are actually unlocked? Yeah, of course. Would you mind? Flip inside? Uh, sure. Let's go to the bathroom. That's... The other one over here. What the hell? You enjoyed looking at the bathrooms? I sure did. Something I don't get, though. What is it? Bathrooms are identical, so why are they labeled differently? Well, one is for men and one is for women. So if the men's bathroom is being used, but the women's bathroom isn't, I can't go to the bathroom? Correct. Even though there is an open bathroom. Correct. 
Why does it matter who used the bathroom as long as it stays clean? That's an interesting point. Give me a minute. Okay. Okay, so each person gets something different for their class, because I only have HP, MP, physical defense, and agility. So now I'm getting a physical attack, a magic attack, magic defense, and luck. Okay. Okie dokie. It's gonna be a long, god damn it, long episode. That's fine. All the doors here seem to be locked. Must be weird not being able to access every single room in a building, huh? Get over it. P attack, P defense, magic attack, and magic defense. Hmm. HP, MP, agility, and luck. Do, 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 do. God damn, okay. Mayor is very busy at the moment, taking care of mayoral things. In fact, he's always very busy. Might want to just walk away and let him run have the way he wants. Do -bo -do -do. Yeah, I feel like super bad now. From like west side compared to the east side. Gotta keep the boss happy. Okay. I'm making that sweet, sweet money. Can find my loopholes to exploit. Gotta get done whatever he wants. Uh huh. Don't bother with the boss while he's eating, or gambling, or watching television, or doing anything else for that matter. Holy crap! Who are you, jokers? That is a very different art style. Unless you have biz a business proposal for me, don't waste my time. We do, eh? Alright. Let's hear what we can do for, for me. Your wealth and power are tied to the wealth... Wait. Your wealth and power are tied to whether or not Haversine flourishes, right? My town profits, I profit. So you want your town to make more money. Of course I do, but fewer people are visiting East Haversine because of how disgusting West Haversine is. People don't want to travel to Haversine, even if half our town is great, since the other half is completely garbage. Ugliness of West Haversine even taints the pristine East Haversine. Talk about people's homes. Do you consider yourself a businessman? Of course I do. A very successful one. Never met a businessman who refused to improve half of his business. What are you talking about? You can make much more money if people are willing to visit both East Haversine and West Haversine. How would you suggest I've convinced people to visit a trash heap? By cleaning up the trash heap. Marion. Cleaning up the trash heap costs money. And I'll be damned if I waste my money. Best money to help them out now, and soon enough you'll be able to profit from the new business they bring in. That's so. How much money am I supposed to spend on this West Haversine charity case? 4,000 gold. Absolutely not. Like, and where you do... Like, and where do you four get off telling me how to run my town? Who the hell do you think you are? What's in it for you? We're just trying to do the right thing. If you want to do the right thing, then how about you be the ones to donate 4,000 gold instead of me? Why do you need my money? If we invest our money, then we'll get all the credit and profits, and we'll be able to oust you during the next election. We'd rather stay out of politics, and we don't care about getting any credit. All right, here's the deal. I pay 2,000 gold, and you pay 2,000, and I get all the credit and profits. Deal. Good, now hand over half the money. Not so fast. We'll supply the 2,000 gold. But we're giving it to Dizzy, the shopkeeper in West Haversine, to ensure that it's used properly. Fine. Better be worth it. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. We'll let Dizzy know about our talk, and we'll give Dizzy our 2,000 gold. And then I'll donate 2,000 gold, too, when Dizzy speaks with me again. You're lucky I'm so generous. Okay. Holy shit. 
made a deal with the harvesting mayor. What is the nature of the deal? We'll split the initial 4,000 gold investment for rebuilding West Haversine. Mayor will pay 2,000 and we'll pay the other 2,000. Why would you volunteer to spend your own money? Because that was the only way that the mayor was willing to consider repairing parts of West Haversine. Yeah, and he wants all the credit too. He's a shifty opportunist, so please be careful if you're going to give him money. That's why we're giving it. That's why we're going to give you our money, Dizzy, instead. We trust you with our money. Surely more than we trust the mayor. I appreciate your trust, and I will make sure your money is put to good use. Yes. Name of my benefactors? Sprig, Marion, Arach, Marrow. Thank you, Sprig, and Marion, Arach, and Marrow, for your kindness and money. I know you said that Marion insists on receiving all the credit for our eventual rehabilitation, but your contribution will be my own, too. Fixing up West Haversine will take time, and it will take more money. Now, enjoy the travels and let me manage the situation here. Hopefully, when you return, you'll be greeted with some changes. I need to be able to sell some items. So if I leave... The signs, at least. Hold up. It doesn't look as, like, trashy. Dizzy, the shop in town look a little better than last time. Money that you and the mayor invested has gone a long way for our community. Thankfully, the mayor kept his promise to donate 2,000 gold of his own money, and I'm sure he'll soon see a return on his investment. I was able to finally sell a few items. Oh, um, gotta start somewhere. For long, I'm sure the West Haversine will have rare items that even East Haversine doesn't have. But my main priority is to make sure that our entire town continues to improve, not just as one little shop. That's why I'm humbling. I humbly ask you to speak to the mayor again, see if he can invest more money into West Haversine's rehabilitation. The town could desperately use another 4,000. See what we can do. I appreciate that. <gasps> like, in case you still didn't know, I was actually trying to be a little sneaky bitch. Uh, that Archelian Landers, that was a character that I helped um, design for the game. As, you know, saying his name before I even met him. Have received enough profit for my investment into West Haversine. Done giving away my gold. If you want to fix things even more, it's on you and Dizzy. Now get out. Okay. Yeah, so the mayor's being a fucking cockwaffle. Mayor made it clear that he won't invest any more money to rebuilding West Haversine. Thank you for trying, everyone. Just need to find a different way to raise another 4,000 gold for the town. Yes, I got like 80,000. Or had 80,000. Confidence will help us even more. Go continue our adventure and let's manage the situation here. Return, okay. Ooh. Everything's looking better. All thanks to your investments. And your hard work, of course. Been in contact with the mayor, and since he's... He's seen his profit skyrocket. He's given me permission to continue repairing West Haversine as I see fit. Don't forget, I have a few new items for sale in case you're interested in buying. Don't need anything. No, my inventory isn't anything special, but I'm confident that soon it will be. Anyways, the mayor refuses to invest any more money to West Haversine. Thankfully, my neighbors and I have been able to collect a little money on our own, put towards more repairs. I know you already have been extremely charitable, but if you wouldn't mind investing more money into this place, might be able to spare a little. What should you have in mind, Dizzy? We're currently short 6,000 for our next set of town projects, and reaching that goal will allow us to continue brightening up the community. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. I know that the mayor wants all the credit, but people are starting to realize that the real heroes... I almost said whores. I don't know where whores came from. I'm the real whores here. But the real whores here are you four, as well as anyone else who is contributing. You deserve plenty of credit as well. I appreciate the compliment. Look forward to seeing you all again after what's have seen is approved further. Hmm. A lot better. Ooh, they have a garden. Never been to what's have seen before. This place is beautiful. Tom's infrastructural problems are finally being addressed. Destroying already to see. Appears to be quite pleasant. See, everyone's coming back now. Looks newly, newly renovated. A funny feeling that will become po pretty popular soon. Really impressed with just how much this town has changed. And the music changed too. 25k experience. What the hell was that? Ooh. 
Magnetonic. Uh, I think I'm already maxed on those. No, I don't have one of those yet. Never mind. Dizzy. Where's Tapazine? He's looking great. Thank you, Arik. You've really been working hard. I definitely have, Marrow, and it's been a very rewarding experience. I am... God damn. Okay, so I think I'm like somewhere here-ish. I've made a great many friends while we're building what's happening, seen. I appreciate their support. It certainly appears you've earned everyone's respect around here. That's good to know, Sprig. Although what's really important to me is that I can respect myself and the decisions I've made. Before we talk further, please feel free to take a look at my new item for sale. I'm fairly certain that my shop features all the same items that each Haverseen's shop has. You have stuff I can buy. Congratulations on the inventory, Dizzy. Thank you, although I always feel like there is more I could be doing for my community. What do you mean? There are a few large projects that remain for this half of Haverseen, and while I can fund most of them, I can use one more financial favor. Much more of an investment you're looking for. 8,000 gold, and then after that, I'm confident that West Haverseen won't have to worry about funding. He's all sure, given that your mayor is such a jerk. I have a feeling that my half seniors are starting to realize that the mayor only cares about himself, but we'll see. In any case, would you be able to, and willing to part with 8,000 gold? Yep. I'll thank all of you. I actually went when I when I was running around doing like the mango thingies I was saving in between, so I didn't really have to run that far back, and I went and like sold all my shit when I came back to here, so... Be forever in your dead, and on behalf of all West Haversinians, I thank you for helping us survive, thrive, and become more respected. Look forward to seeing you again, hopefully in Haversin with leadership that is more equitable for everyone. Nice. Uncle told me there are, you're the ones who made Haversin an amazing place. Well, one day my family moves here. Haversinians have become more accepted in East Haversin, thanks to our town bringing in tourists in both regions. I need to visit West Haversin more. Or wear prices, even though my dress is okay. Thank you for making West Haver seem bold and beautiful, or forever in your debt. Poor Ness, would you be mind telling us what you think about East Haver scene? Hmm, it's never been there, sorry. Other news, our town has become extremely popular with no surprise given how much given how amazing it looks now. This is West Haverstein, but it's not came in for a sign. Compliments are thankfully outdated. We've kicked the mayor who's overrated and replaced him with two people who care for us, so we're, so we're elated. I'm not at all surprised by just how popular this town has become. Because it's all thanks to you four. I can't believe that our town has improved even more than before. You and Dizzy have really made something extremely special, and a great many of us. Living Hargoth traveled here, okay. Obviously, amazing items. There's great inventories. Downside, they don't seem to be selling any mangoes. Why would they ever sell fruit there? Fair, the shops tend to sell other items that are consumable. Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's suppose you have any for sale. Any mangoes? Yes, please. Totally talk with the right people. Here you go. Ribbon of Regen TP. Ooh. Wait, that was number 15 it said? That's a big fucking jump. Yeah, I got at least half of them done. So I got a ribbon of something or another? Of TP? Oh, shit, I can equip two ribbons now. Holy crap. Fuck yeah. Earth Ribbon continues to gain 25, 20... Oh, hell fuck it, yeah, she can keep that shit. Ah, no, another one to do. Hey, um, who are you? Hey, Miss Cat, I'm a friend of Dizzy. He asked me to run the store for a while. Where is he? Oh, you haven't heard? He's in East Haverstein right now. He's found a great way to help everyone in the town. What's he doing in East Haverstein? People have seen decided to elect two mayors, one on each half of the town. Dizzy is now one of the mayors, and he's been working with the other mayor on many issues to help our whole city. Oh, that's fantastic. Another thing that's fantastic is our recent shipment of new items, to complement our regular inventory. Sure.
Oof. Kill one ally of everything. Damn. And I can buy those now. Holy shit. Permanent increase HP of one ally by a thousand. They're retained even when you switch classes. Holy fuck. That's a lot. Holy shit. You can't really have better shit than... Oh, what the hell. Hello there, adventurers. She just opened up an armory in town. Had always wanted to establish a shop, but I was unsure of the ideal location. Now that West Havisian is thriving, I figured this would be a great spot. Although, I also have some armor for sale, and my passion is rare and expensive weaponry. What kind of weapons are you talking about? They're extremely powerful auras, and they replace your conventional weapons. Each of you can harness a specific aura once you reach your ultimate class, instead of equipping your swords or daggers, or any other weapons. Equipping an aura can provide better stats and well-rounded resistances. You say we must achieve our ultimate class before being able to wield an aura? That is correct. After the Master Alpha and Master Omega classes, after mastering those, our ultimate class. Sounds like fantastic rewards for completion of our adventurers who want to become as strong as possible. Oh, I feel like the little trinkets lying around here too. Not sure if you'd be interested, but feel free to check my inventory. Holy crap. Move. Oof. What's that name? Has the agility. Let me just do. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, no. Ribbons. I want ribbons. Ribbon of regen, HP, MP, and TP. Damn. I can do two of those. Oh, wait, each person can equip two. I can give Marion another TP. I can give what's his face two HP. I give the wizards two MP apiece. Holy fuck! Oh god, I don't have monies. I'm I'm a po ass person. Not only is the free rest area, but you'll receive two component and gives after you spend the night. Okay. Mini tonic and magic tonic. Thank you again for visiting. You have a wonderful day in West Haversine. Okay. Oh my god, I'm pushing like an hour. But I want to talk to people and do all the things. Wait, are those fucking houses now? Move, stupid. No, they're not. Okay. Royal Regalia. Ooh. There's a little bit of agility and luck, but that's fine. Okay. Big Mary Mary and Eric. Welcome. We met you before? No, we haven't met before, but Mayor Daisy has described you all and your great deeds enough time for you to be instantly recognizable here. Well, what do you know? Daisy became the mayor. Pretty cool. Sure, the West Haversinians appreciate finally having representation. During the recent election, it was agreed upon by most Haversinians to elect two mayors, so that there would be leadership from both the East and the West. Mayors have been working together, collaborating on every major decision, regardless of whether or not it affects both halves of Haversin. Mayor Dizzy has even made some great recommendations for East Haversin, while Mayor Valedict has made some useful suggestions for West Haversin as well. Valedict? Yep, he was raised in East Haversin. They went off to do some research in Pitha. He was to return, it became a community organizer, and was elected as the other mayor. Thank you for all the information. Hello, my friends. Hey there, Mr. New Mayor. Please, Marion, it'll always be dizzy. And thank you again, all of you. I wouldn't be where I am today without all of your support. You are the driving force behind all the change, Dizzy. Thank you for believing me, and believing in my city. I like the renovation of this villa. It's more conductive to being productive. Conducive to being productive. Thank you, and I agree. Mayor Valley and I have been very busy, especially when it comes to listening to the concerns of our fellow Haversinians. Listening to others is the first step to being able to understand them. Absolutely. It's with the white horse and black cat. Oh, those are just two animals I rescued. Anyway, I'm simply drowning in this workout. I need to get finished before I get drowsy. I recommend buying a sleep talisman. Noted. Take care of yourselves. 
Thanks, you too. Oh, by the way. Yes, Arak? I had the pleasure of meeting Catch. Ah, yes. I'm sure she's doing a great job running the shop in West Haversee. The other person also has opened up a very rare armory next to it. And it was Haversee looks great too. Check him out. Hello again, friends. Friends? Didn't you steal our sleep talisman when we met you around Pitha? Yeah, I did. I'm sorry about that. I was poor and desperate at the time, but now I'm in much better headspace. Please, let me repay you with this. Rid of regen HP. Ooh, noise. Wow, oh, thanks, Validix. Guess you're not one of the baddies. So it's I can do for you after you've helped me and my help me and then help my city. Anyway, I've been working with Dizzy to make all the Haversine perhaps I cannot English right now. Prosperous. And that includes investing time and money to issue specific to issues specific to West Haversine. Please excuse me, I have much work to do. Maybe using a sleep talisman can help you keep you awake and focused. You're exactly right. When I was younger, I would never have imagined things improved so much, let alone being able to help. It's really incredible to watch two mares collaborating. It's a lot of pressure to make sure things run smoothly, but it's for a noble cause. It's important to learn to lean into the discomfort that arises from controversial issues and do your best to problem solve. Go to run for mayor one day when I get older. I'm oh, sure you will. Mayor Dizzy and Mayor Valedict are a lot nicer than Mayor Geo was. But I even know that was his name. Why should we care about West Haversini is when they're just draining our resources? The investment into West Haversini's people and infrastructure is earning us money, as tourists and travelers are more likely to pass through both regions of Haversini. What shall I say to my children when they ask me why those others are getting more attention than our family? Tell them that it's important to be compassionate and caring, and that we should be thankful that we don't need as much help right now. One day, our families might be the ones who need some assistance from others, if we wouldn't want our community to turn its back on us, right? Yeah, that's a good point. So where did that other guy go? Even if we prioritize different issues, we're all working towards a common goal of creating a flourishing city that we can be proud of. Before his last election, I would have never had the courage to even enter this building, let alone get a job here. Hello, loves. Landscaping was ever seen, it's finally finished. What's next? I think you've been really improved around here. Alright. So, where did that guy go? That Geo, or whoever the fuck his name was. I guess it's no longer Importante. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here, guys. Cr holy crap, I'm like an hour and five minutes right now, but I'm probably gonna trim down some shit. Um, uh, I guess I'll deal with you later. Okay, so I guess when I come back, I can start my search for those, um, eight medallion halves. I don't know which ones I need to go to first. They said after every two monsters in the um, subsequent dungeons will become stronger. But I am, you know, freaking Omega class now. So uh, I guess I'll just take a look around and see which ones they have and where they're at and just go from there. So until then, this is Indie Gamer Retro on Mango Mischief. Later, guys.